It's exactly what we released back in DevNet where we said Python for the network engineer. Yeah. Right? And you, you see it. It's still out there. And so it's kind of the same logic. It is where we're headed. And it is AI is actually a real thing. I feel like one of the advantages of AI is that so much of it is so new. So for anybody that's come to Cisco Live Amsterdam, we're actually, this is unique. We've never done it before. We understand how important it is to learn. And our community, we've seen it firsthand. Yeah. Our community is hungry to learn. Yep. Whether they end up in certification or not, the learning is there. And, it's, and there is a shift in the market with AI. Everyone, it's David Bobble coming to you from Cisco Live once again with Kareem. Great to have you back. Ryan, great to have you here. Guys, big announcements with regards to AI. Perhaps you can tell us about it. We understand what's happening with Cisco and AI, right? And so we wanted to put something out there and I'll, 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 I'll leave it to Ryan to, to announce it. But I want to give a little bit of a reason why we've done this. Yeah. And so if you think about it, um, Cisco's doing a couple of things. We have AI in Cisco. And I think we talked about it a little bit from, a, we were just chatting about that from a CCNA perspective, uh, your your AI sidekick, whether that's in your, um, in the Cisco products in the security or maybe in WebEx or maybe predictive AI sitting in your Catalyst Center or Thousand Eyes, it doesn't matter, right? This is AI in Cisco. Now, the big thing is with AI and the shift into, into the AI technologies, there's an infrastructure that's managing all of this. Yeah. So this is- People forget that, yeah. And this, this part is where Cisco plays AI on Cisco, okay. right? And so um, we at Learning and Certification are aware of this. We have our certifications that uh, validate your designs and look at you know the bigger kind of CCIE level training or certification that you have. And we were looking at that and, and and we talked to a lot of our network engineers and infrastructure engineers and they're saying AI workloads are actually impacting our infrastructure and they're impacting our network. And so it takes a certain design for that to happen. And so when we were talking about this, we say there is a need for this in the market. And we need, gotta validate those designs to make sure that the next generation or generation of you know uh, data center engineers and network engineers are able to design for the AI. And so this is where. So that's going to be our, that is uh, what we have announced here. Uh, it is a brand new part of our CCDE program. So for those of you who are familiar with that, that is our expert level design program. It is a CCDE in AI infrastructure. We are super excited about this because for all of the reasons why Kareem just said, the amount of of new demands on the network that are being uh, caused by AI, um, AI workloads, whether it's data preparation, whether it's training, whether it's inferencing, um, the, the optimization of a network to get the most out of your GPU or CPU investments, um, making a decision for your network on uh, GPU uh, items. Uh, so much of this is now in an architectural skill set. And so we have uh, been spending quite some time developing this and we're very excited to be announcing it here because we think that one, it's a skill set that's in demand. There are so many people that are trying to build these types of networks, optimize for these types of networks, make sure that they're getting the most out of their investments. But second, we know that there's a lot of jobs in this area. And that's always one of the reasons why we update or add to our certification program is we know it's going to help our community. So this is not me learning computer science learning uh, machine language, uh, machine learning. It's This is more for network engineers, is that right? Yes, it's really built for those network architects and uh, those network engineers, those people that are working with the the Cisco equipment, the Cisco technologies, as Kareem was talking about earlier, AI on the Cisco network. Um, so if you're someone that has to design a network, if you're someone that's trying to build a network, if you're trying to accommodate for things like, what are the business requirements, like cost optimization, this is gonna be the certification for you and it's also one of the reasons why it's at the expert level. And one thing that to keep in mind too, with the AI workloads, most of that runs on massive and massive uh, amount of GPUs, right? So first of all, there's very little room for error. So your networks have to be designed in such a way that they are pretty much lossless, right? And then second of all, we got to be good to the earth. And so this is this certification actually has sustainability as part of the design concept that you, um, you go through to make sure that 
not only that you're you're building that infrastructure properly for the workloads, but you're also being conscious that the massive amount of power that's being pulled by these GP GPUs, you got to be able to manage that and be good to the earth. So sustainability is actually part of the design, and this is part of our certification blueprint. So it means if I understand right, it's a brand new CCDE certification. Is that correct? So actually, um, we've just updated the CCDE. So I think everybody is starting to see those blueprints. We're publishing them now. Um, this is actually a new elective that's within the CCDE program. So for anybody that is taking the CCDE, you know that you got to take a core part of your CCDE first, and then you get to choose an elective. This is going to be a special part of it. And if you choose this elective, you'll also be getting special recognition as this is your area of expertise. So now you'll be able to go out in the world and tell people, I'm a design expert and I also have an, ex uh, an expertise in AI infrastructure. And to add on to what Kareem was saying, in addition to having that background now in sustainability, which is really an important key skill uh, across the board, you also have a really great background in compliance. So things yes. like data sovereignty, um, things like uh, data privacy, data protection, even the new security rigor and requirements that are associated with AI, all of those are now inside of this program. So it's a, it's a really natural extension of where CCDE has been and where it will be going. So is this all available on Cisco's website? Where do I get information about it? Oh, well, please. Uh, we actually have a lot of things that you can okay, do. Yeah. Tell us. So, so uh, our VP, Par Marat, uh, just released a blog. Uh, we'll have it as part of the description. It talks about the reason behind our certification, the reason why CCD is important, the reason why AI workloads on the network is is really important for us to talk about that. And then we have our, we just announced our blueprint. Uh, so you can head over to, it's linked in that blog as well. You can head over to, to there, check out the, the blueprint. And then we're also, as part of our initiative that, you know, being in the same team and working with, with this, we've been talking about that, Dave, for, for a little bit here, is we want to make sure that we are prepping our community, our audience to, to, for success. So we are releasing essentially uh, entry level to expert content on Cisco U to before our certification is actually released to make sure that you are prepared to what's coming. And we're also making a huge portion of that free. So you can head over to u.cisco.com. Um, I'm working with my team on releasing a set of tutorials uh, to support the efforts with the CCDE. There are going to be all around AI for the infrastructure on Cisco. Um, as well as we're working on more of short form courses that we're building on Cisco U. And Ryan, if you want to talk a little bit about that. Oh, yeah. I mean, one of the cool things about announcing this program here at Cisco Live is the first day to test is in February of 2025. So okay. for anybody that's come to Cisco Live Amsterdam, we're actually, this is unique. We've never done it before. You're going to be able to test for this CCDE program at Cisco Live Amsterdam. But that gives you several months to start preparing. Yeah. So at Cisco Live here, just as Kareem was saying, we're providing nine hours of free training to help you get started. Oh, wow. But every month, we're going to be adding more training in there. There's going to be a tremendous amount of free training. There's going to be some premium training. All of it is really built around exactly what Kareem just said bringing someone entry to expert. And that's another thing that I know anybody who has been studying for CCIE or CCDE, people have been asking us, we'd love some expert level training. Yep. This is a unique offer just for this program is we are going to have that expert level training and you're going to be able to check in with us every single month, June, July, all the way out until February of 2025 and find that training. So again, just to make sure I understand because I'm a bit slow, there's free training on Cisco U yeah. from like a beginner to expert, right? Well, there's going to be a free training that's for the beginner. There's free training that's going to be intermediate. We're even going to have some free advanced training. But right. we're also going to complement that as well with advanced um, learning paths, premium training as well. We know that our community expects us to be able to provide high quality training. And whether it's going to be free or premium, we're really going to make sure that we're providing that comprehensive skill building. And that's why even here, we're coming out with that first nine hours of free training. And this is, this is something that we haven't done in the past, this yep. trickling in content 
as a new certification yep. is being announced, we understand how important it is to learn. And our community, we've seen it firsthand. Yeah. Our community is hungry to learn. Yep. Whether they end up in certification or not, the learning is there. And it's, and there is a shift in the market with AI. And it's a hot topic as we see it here all over Cisco Live, yep. right? And so we, we're we conscious of this and we're trying to make it um, happen for our learners. Yeah. Guys, I see a problem on YouTube and other places, right? There's all this hype, lots of noise about AI. Yeah. But I think it's important that a company like Cisco, you know, leads the way. But what, you know, what, why is it important to you and Cisco, you know, that this certification exists and, you know, this training exists? You know, I, I'm going to take, I love that question because I, I'm going to go back. You know, Kareem and I are, uh, we've formerly worked on the DevNet side. We've worked with helping network engineers get into um, uh, automation. Yep. And, um, you know, it's funny. I, I was talking to someone at Cisco Live Amsterdam this year and they were telling me, you know, you guys were talking to us about automation and, um, you know, you were right. Like, it, yep. that was the skill for us to get into. Yep. We're always trying to give our learners that that view of the horizon. This is the next horizon. Yeah. And so just like how Kareem and myself and others, we've taught people how to reach their first hello world. We really want to help everybody say hi to AI. And that's why we're coming out with this training. That's why we're coming out with the tutorials that Kareem's team is so amazingly built. Um, but that's also the heart behind this certification is we really want to make sure that we're coming out with something that resonates with not just the industry, but make sure that our community is always well prepared. I'm glad you said that because I remember the days of DevNet how like engineers were like, I'm not going to code. I'm never going to use Python, but the world's moved on. Yeah. And that's all, this is the next wave, right? Yes, the next exactly. thing that people should jump on and learn. Absolutely. And one thing that we learned from DevNet is entry level is as important as yep. expert. And so I, I remember Ryan, when we did the whole start now initiative in DevNet, it was probably one of the, the, the most popular site visited theater that we had and the reason why is because we've made it where we're kind of um, eliminated the friction for that network engineer to understand automation and we're doing the same thing with AI where we're saying here this is a frictionless experience get into AI at your own pace with whatever skill sets that you have whether you're in the beginner you're in the middle or you're at expert you're already you know handling AI workloads for for your network right we have it for you just come and take that ladder up so yeah, I, I couldn't agree more with Kareem. I mean, I feel like one of the advantages of AI is that so much of it is so new. Yeah. So um, the the thing that I really appreciate about our community is you could be a uh, just fresh into this world. You could be a 20 year veteran, but we're all learners. Yep. So this is an opportunity to get into something that's so new, really develop that skill. Kareem published an amazing tutorial called Understanding uh, uh, AI and LLMs as a Network Engineer. That's right. I cannot recommend this tutorial enough. It is exactly where everybody should start. So if you've been working on networks and rack and stack for 20 years, if you're someone that is uh, just new to this world, this is the tutorial to check out and you can find it for free on u.cisco.com. It's exactly Exactly what we released back in DevNet where we said Python for the network engineer, yeah. right? And you, you see it, it's still out there. And so it's kind of the same logic. It is where we're headed and it is AI is actually a real thing. I know we talked about AI maybe a couple months ago, six months ago. We we're like, ah, we don't know. It's, hap it's happening. Yeah, it, it is happening. We're kind of navigating you through an al alphabet soup of A, uh, a lettered things where we're yep. trying to move you from like automation now to AI. So, so got to ask you this. This is obviously expert, right? CCD, are there going to perhaps be certs for people who don't want to go to that level? Maybe like uh, beginner certifications or intermediate certifications? Are we going to perhaps see more AI in CCMP perhaps and other places? Um, yeah, actually. So we're um, uh, one of the things that we've been looking at, and I, I think everybody knows on Cisco.com, we have a schedule of how we do an annual review yep. of our certifications. Um, just like with CCDE, we added AI in where it seemed applicable. We're going to be doing that with all of our certifications. So we've already added it into a line, a new line item in CCNA. That's yep. all around generative AI and predictive AI. Um, as we've talked about before, uh, we've added Rocky V2 into CCIE data center. Uh, we're also adding in elements of uh, AI workloads into CCIE data center. But AI is is just across all of our tracks. And so as it makes sense, whether it's security or collaboration, 
uh, we're going to find those opportunities and kind of sprinkle in AI where it makes sense. I love the example of DevNet because I think people who rode that wave did really well. And I see, like you've been saying, this is the next wave. If I'm not sure where to start, I should get in this now, right? It's not hype. Uh, absolutely. I mean, it, just like anything, it, it has uh, an entry level, an entry point. And so Ryan mentioned this, where we're trickling in AI in our certifications where it makes sense. And we have the motion to do when we trickle in certification, when our certification changes, we trickle in training to support the effort. And so you'll see training trickling in throughout the that evolution of AI workloads on the network. And you'll see that on our, you know, in Cisco.com for learning and certification, our uh, Cisco U uh, from tutorials to courses to videos. Um, we just recently uh, had a, a, a three channel virtual uh, event called Cisco U Spotlight. Yep. And we had topics mm -hmm. around AI. And guess what? Our community stayed on these topics for the longest out of everything else. So that tells me something. Yep. If I'm watching these numbers, I'm, 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 I'm a data guy. Like I look at data, I analyze it, and based on that, I make decisions, right? Typical engineer. Yep. And so mm -hmm. if, if I look at that, that tells me that there is uh, something hot there and there's people are interested, uh, people are seeing the wave and they're, they're ready to ride it. We just need to make it easy for them to get in there. Yeah, we've, I love that. we've spent the last 10 years, uh, Kareem, myself, the members of our team, helping everybody try to achieve those goals, whether it was becoming a network engineer that was wanting to get into software yep. or automation, or it was just someone wanting to learn about their place in the networking world. Yep. Uh, we want to know that, and we really want our community to know that Everyone can trust us to be that advisor, to be that guide. Um, all those things that are on the horizon, whether it's AI or the next thing, you can find a lot of our work on u.cisco.com and we're always gonna be there to help you learn.